They've proposed a sand mine here on either side of Ulo Flats Road, which is basically going to start dredging sand out of the river areas and the bank areas, being, making the place more prone to floods and uh, environmental downfall. And it's entirely focused on the economic gain of private interests and not taking into account the community and the people that live around these parts at all. The impact it's going to have on our lives, from going to school at the Montessori in the mornings to going to work at Cunder Park, the impact on the roads, the safety. This is a windy road. It's, um, it's a busy road. Having trucks on this road day in, day out is not going to be good for the community or the roads or safety of our children in school zones. I have concerns that are personal, of course, about the operation of a mine 12 hours a day so close to my home with heavy machinery. But I understand that those complaints are, yeah, they're mine. They're not very... They're not, they don't hold weight in terms of planning and in terms of a community-wide situation. So I'm going to think holistically of the community and that we have yeah, economic, environmental and social issues that are going to be brought up by this, this mine that I'm opposed to. Economically, their houses are going to begin to devaluate over time. Majorly up to 15 kilometres away, people all the way up in Malulaba could be affected by this. We've just built our family home here amongst many others in Forest Pines Estate and the surrounding areas. What's that going to do for us as um, homeowners? You know, we're, our property prices could plummet. I left my family and friends in Perth to come and be here in this beautiful place of Sunshine Coast to have a sand pit at my doorstep. I don't think so. The tourism industry as well, imagine being uh, greeted into the Maroochydore and uh, Sunshine Coast area by a massive dredging system and not beautiful grassland we have here. Tourists aren't going to be wanting to see that. This is not just an issue for us who live in the area, this is an issue for the Sunshine Coast. For the businesses on the coast who are going to have their tourism affected, uh, for anyone who cares here about the environment on the coast, we have potential to impact on the Maroochy River, the Udalo Creek system, and some of the threatened and endangered species that are uh, living here. I'm not saying that it should necessarily remain as a cattle ground, but I definitely think that we can use the ground wisely without damaging any of the environmental factors around it. We could utilise the, the land here in so many vast ways that are beneficial for us as a whole in the long term, not just the short term. A lot of people live very close by, we're never really made aware of it. We got uh, till Friday now to submit our uh, complaints about it. We've got a Facebook group going. We have a lot of information on there about where you can submit your applications, uh, where you can get more information about what's happening. Hop onto our Facebook page, it's uh, Stop the Marucci Sand Mines. Sign up and hand in your submissions to cancel to keep this place beautiful and green and the way we love it.